A very cheerful morning to all my lovely students. I am Ritika Thakur, your English teacher. And today we are going to start our new chapter, which is chapter number two of reader book. It's poem, The Nicest Things. So let's start our chapter number two, The Nicest Things. So this is your chapter number two poem, The Nicest Things nicest the things which are nice to me the poet is telling about the things which are nice to poet make a list of the things that your parents keep telling you to do every day this is just an activity for you so let's start our chapter number two poem the nicest things Everything that's nicest, Granny says it's wrong. You, you can see here the child is saying, the poet is saying that everything that is nicest, that is nice for me, Granny says it's wrong. If you don't put your toys back where they belong, if you don't put your toys back at its place, it's wrong. Slide along the railing, climb a tree or two. Sliding on a railing, it's also not good. Granny says it's wrong because Granny says that you can fall down, you can get hurt by playing on the railing. So it's also not the nicest thing. Climb a tree or two. Sliding along the railing and climbing, climbing on the tree means to go up to the tree. It's also not right, Granny says. It's sure to be the very things that children must not do. There are so many things that children do. Maximum things are not cool at all, not nicest at all. Granny says... All the things children do are wrong, right? For example, playing on the railing, not keeping the toys back at its place and climbing trees. All these things can hurt the children also and it's not right at all. Not that much nicest things according to granny. Wish there was a place where things were upside down. Upside down in confusion or disorder. The child wants that maybe there will, the child wishes that maybe there will be a place. There was a place where things were upside down. Means things are almost in disorder, in confusion, not on the places. Next page, page number 11. Must not, would be must, in topsy-turvy town. Topsy-turvy town means, then I suppose that I had be disordered, untidy, messy too. Topsy-turvy too. <clears throat> topsy-turvy means disordered, untidy, messy. The child is saying maybe there will be a place where all the things will be in topsy-turvy condition. I will be also in condition topsy-turvy means untidy, messy, dirty. You can see how child wants to play, how child wants to, you can see here also, right? In disorder manner, in untidy manner, in messy manner, child want to play. There will be, the child want that there will be a place which is topsy-turvy. Topsy-turvy town. May, where each and everything will be messy, untidy, not clear. Nobody will say that keep the toys on the place and the child can play according to his wishes. He can do whatever he want to do and only want to do the things that children ought to do ought to do means something that you expect to do that you want to do children here you can see the poet wants a place 
a topsy turvy place where everything will be messy and nobody will no thing will be on its own place and child can do whatever he wants to do he want that place for himself right so this is the poem this is the exercise part write down cw here fill in the blanks with the rhyming words from the poem granny says it's dash it's wrong granny says it's wrong if you don't put your toys back where they belong where they belong climb a tree or two it's sure to be the very things that children must not do the rhyming words are there where things were upside down upside down must not would be must in topsy turvy town so question answers will not do so learn this part and learn the poem also read chapter number 2 from your book learn the poem and revise part a also take care students bye